What's up everybody? This is Jose. Hey Katie. Welcome to our channel. On today's video, we're gonna explore Shouts Park in St. Pete. This is a very requested video. I've had a lot of people ask me to check out this neighborhood, so we're here. It is uh, four o'clock on a Wednesday. So let's go for a ride and explore Shouts Park. One of the most requested videos that I've seen recently a lot of people want to see this neighborhood so we're here for you guys so just uh working <laughs> see what it looks like salem's they have a salem's that's crazy aren't they like all over the carolinas pretty much i don't remember I, we've, there was another city that were all over remember tampa is it really tampa yeah so this neighborhood goes between 22nd and 5th so we're on the south side of st pete Explore, see what it's about. That room place, call them. Those look like the right size. What is it up with you wanting to call every room shop? Is Eventually, it? somebody will have it in the right size we're looking for. Oh boy. 30s. <sighs> you never let me spend money on stupid stuff. Does that make any sense? They might have it. What if they have it, Katie? Hmm? What if all of a sudden they have the size I'm looking for? And 28s. That's the place you wanted to call? Yes. Yeah. They had a bunch of rims outside. No one just passed. Let's talk to them. Ooh, we're in the 727. Hey, uh, I'm looking for 8 lug on 180. I don't know if y'all got anything that size. Yeah, I'm looking for like a set of wheels, but um, 8 eight lug, but they got to be by 180. All right, I appreciate you. No, nah, man, I ain't got that right now. Okay. We tried. Something tells me that he does have it. <laughs> got the feeling. Doesn't it seem like they would have that? Doesn't like that seem like the place they would have it? We'll find it eventually. Here's another room place. <laughs> it's like you have brought me to uh, to a place where money will be spent. That's a room place right there. Eventually, somebody will have it. What's gonna happen is like somebody will have bought a set almost new. Then their car got repoed. Baby mama stabbed them or something. And now they have, here's fifth. We got to turn on fifth. Like, there'll be a scenario where somebody will have that rim used. And you'll get a deal. Oh, they got these buses here too. All right. Traffic sucks in this area. They have city buses in every town, Jose. Right. But did you know that you could buy a city bus? Yes, you can. Option? Yes, you can. What you're going to do with it afterwards, I have no idea. Because you can't just ride your own. Scrapper! You can't just drive your own. Actually, bus you around. can. You can buy a bus and just drive it around. Won't people try to get in it everywhere you go? Not necessarily. If you <laughs> Would you like to have your face slapped on the side of a bus? Sure. Called? You just get it wrapped. Oh, dude, that's our cover photo right there. Look how good that little corner still looks. See, we got graffiti on the side. Let's see if we can get the right angle of it. Let's see if we can do this. That's all buses do. They get wrapped. Okay. Right, 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 right. If you buy a city bus, right? Let's say you buy a bus. Uh -huh. What do you do with it? Like, you can't just drive it around. People are going to try to get in it. You can turn it into your house. Huh? Yeah, it's a new thing. You can turn a city bus into your house. Is this place called Graffiti? Do they sell clothes? What do they sell? Clothes. Ooh. We're coming back here. I need to buy some, some J's. I don't have enough J's. Mm -hmm. You have more than enough. I'm coming back. 
I see how you can go broke if you have a hood. If you have bad taste for for, for everything, basically. And if any, a place that sells J's and rims, I, I would not, we would not have any money left at the end of the week. Ooh, look at the houses. They look neat. Look how neat these houses look. I like the houses. Yeah, Where are neat. we? We're in South St. Petersburg. Is this like a neighborhood? No, it's not. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't ask. Like, honey, can we move here? I'm like, no, 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 no. Well, why'd you point out the house is a nice Well, oh, snap, look at this Cadillac. It's the same car as all we used to have. Almost. Remember we used to have a Cadillac like that? On rims just like that, too? Remember the blue? Yeah, I remember that Cadillac. I like that one. That was fresh. Yeah. We always got scared of our Cadillacs and sold them. We're like, it's got a North Star. But actually, we never had it. Well, Dad's did. Yeah, that was a bad deal. Yeah. We're starting out. He got rid of that red one, and it was good. Yeah. Because it had an AC problem, but the guy said a plug was loose. Oh, these streets are deep. You see how many people are hanging out on that street? Yeah. The guy who bought yeah, it said a plug was stuff. loose. You know it's a bad neighborhood just because by the amount of buses that are here. That's never a good time. Those people that just stop working probably don't even have a car. It's just, you know. Okay. Well, it doesn't look as hood as I thought it would be. It's one of those deals where it looks hood around the main streets, but not maybe like the neighborhood looks like. That neighborhood actually looks pretty nice. Look at these little houses. Dude, this street is deep as crap. Oh, boy, this one. Speed hump. A speed hump. I like it. St. Pete has like some of the neatest neighborhoods. I just don't like how fast paced the city is and how. Oh snap, these guys going for. They got a lot of nice cars here in St. Pete. We should set up a car show at some point. Lots of cars on radio. Eventually, we'll find a place that has the wheels we're looking for. It's a, it's a really weird size, but it's, we just got to call around until we can find it. What time is the rim time open? The place we're calling in? Uh, Five. It's four? Yeah. You know they're open later than that. Oh, you got to lie, bro. No, it's actually Why you always five. lying? Why you always lying? You lie. You lie to me. I'm not lying. You know they're open later than five. You want them to be open later than five o'clock. I know they're open later than five. You're just lying. No, they actually close at five o'clock. Salad from Publix. It was very I'm good. Sorry to hear that. I'll make you eat one tonight. You're lying to me. What's this place? We'll find whatever's interesting in the thing. This phone is hot, don't leave it out in the snow, bro. Okay. You're gonna like no, cook no, up. No, no, no. Trying to cook my phone? No. There we go. It's actually a pretty big neighborhood. Let's see if we go on the other side of it. You're lying to me. It's a big neighborhood. That looks like Sebastian right there. Scrapper! I'm gonna start saying that every time I see a scrapper. Mm -hmm. Seems like scrap metal's on the on the come up right now. Mm -hmm. You had stopped seeing scrappers for a while. They're back. They're back at it. Yeah. 
That's never a good sign, by the way. No, is it? Is Scarfers it? show up right before a recession. Yep. We're heading for a recession. I'll tell you that when you start PC people put the scrap metal again, it means that the dollar's worth so little that the scrap metal's worth money again. Uh huh. We've seen all, when you start seeing scrappers again, can you imagine going through a recession will be high? Mm. It'll be it'll be scary yeah. to go through a recession where we live. Yeah. That's one thing. Yeah, I was looking online like one percent less than the two thousand. It's 2008 recession mm -hmm. is defaulting on their mortgage yeah. and part of it is that mortgage moratorium people are not paying it on purpose yeah. I don't know what's going to happen all I know is people, scrap metal people like the scrap metal again mm -hmm. not a good sign uh -huh. the amount of scrappers I, I've seen more scrappers in the last mm -hmm. week mm -hmm. than I have in like the last two years People start collecting scrap metal. Yeah. It means the dollar's worth nothing. Mm -hmm. And things are about to go to crap. That's usually what that means. Yep. It's a bad sign regardless. Mm -hmm. Metal bars in the window, that can't be good. What about house? Okay. It's near the park. This is always good to buy a house. Actually, it's never good. In, in theory, wouldn't it make sense to buy a house near a park? Mm -hmm. In reality, it's not. never buy a house near a park. In an inner city, never buy a house near a park. Yeah. You will trust me on this one. Don't do it. Oh, wow. What happened? It's, uh, you know, the slats from a chair. Someone just caught it up and left it in the road. Mm -hmm. See, when you see, I, I think the amount of scrappers that are out there right now, it's a bad sign. Yeah, and I see it everywhere I go, no matter. Yeah, it's a bad sign for sure. Yeah. It means the dollar ain't working. Because scrappers pretty much disappeared off the face of the earth. Yeah. There were barely any scrappers left. Like, you know, there was like that one guy. Yeah, like there's not like that many scrappers. When you start to see everywhere you look scrappers, people got the scrap metal in, yeah. that's bad. Yeah. It means they aren't working. Mm -hmm. They're... Uh, it's a bad time all around. Okay. Gas is going up. Scrap metal's going up. <laughs> bad, bad signs. I don't know what it's going to take things to go to crap again but we're probably getting close to it you lied to me you told me you lied to me I recently discovered soul music it's very nice I'm surprised you, know, you haven't discovered that sooner <laughs> like I recently discovered soul music J-Lo Beauty Supply J-Lo is beautiful and she's got supplies for you a prices you can't be well, I feel like having the sun glaring in your face can you highlight the neighborhood boundaries for me again to that neighborhood firewood in the middle of the city for real for real son where do you find this where are those where do you find this <laughs> that was my question 
if I'm in the city and somebody out with my friends in the city, somebody shows up with some firewood, I'd be like, where do you find that? <laughs> hey, how do you find some firewood in the middle of the city? Leave it up to St. Pete for that one, bro. Places where they randomly shop at cows. We should try selling firewood at Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. I didn't even thought of that. That's like, who's even thought about that? Selling firewood in the city. That's one way to get sued, though. Because like, you know somebody's gonna burn. People see people in the city don't know what the crap to do with firewood. Like our house burned down, and, and he sold us a firewood. I'm like, well, first of all, why the crap are you selling firewood? I don't even think city people know what to do with firewood. That, that's like the first problem right there is why are you selling firewood in the city? Cops got that intersection blocked off over there. Or something. Nice mural. That's cool port over there. I need a western facility. Any of these places have a western facility I can go to? That's what I hate about interstates in America. You can't even use a bathroom in public. Except for Portland and Seattle. They have really accommodated the necessities of the bowel movements. <laughs> if you have a bowel movement, come to Seattle. Relieve yourself. Do you feel the relief already? <laughs> Cuba seafood. Seafood. Seafood and I'm hungry. Oh, you know where I want to go tomorrow? What? I've been missing Calabalga. You with me on that? Yes. Calabalga. They don't have the burger. This was supposed to be very hood. It looks alright, hood. It doesn't look like super yeah. hood to me. It's kind of like normal. Oh, so like I now like Dollar General. General. Right. Yeah. They might have a bathroom, right? Yeah. I definitely need a bathroom. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, there's a drive around the neighborhood. I don't know exactly what we were looking for because I didn't. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. I don't know what we're missing here. Maybe we came on the wrong day of the week or something. Maybe we didn't hit up the right streets. Maybe let's go down this street before we come back. This is Gulfport. Gulfport? Yeah. I hear that's supposed to be really hot. Let's see here. Those are my truck ends, guys. I don't know. Dollar General's probably my only chance of finding a bathroom anywhere around here. Probably. Unless there's an abandoned building I can go behind. Mm -hmm. If you see any plants in the Dollar General. Yeah, we're now in Gulfport. This doesn't look that bad either. Oh. What am I missing here? Supposedly, this is supposed to be like really the hood. And... It's kind of interesting, but it's, it's not like. It's Florida. True that. True that. What am I missing here? The houses are actually kind of pretty. Yeah. What are we missing? It's Florida. Don't let the palm trees fool you. Yeah. And even though, even in the neighborhoods, they keep the houses and have a garden. How the crap did their papaya trees make it over here and ours didn't? It got cold down there. It got colder in Southwest Florida than it did up here. <laughs> I actually seen people. And they probably took more precautions. I don't know. But I seen entire coconut trees. What is that? MR2? Fiero? That's hilarious. I seen entire. Look, those banana trees are green. Look. Oh, is that a caprice? Bro. That's a caprice. Will we have bananas over the summer? I don't know. If it will or not. Our banana trees that we planted all died. But then these people's bananas here didn't die. Like, how did... We're way, way further south than them. But I'm pretty sure it got colder down there because people here... This guy's from New York! Uh -huh. People here doesn't seem like their banana trees died at all. Uh -huh. It really got colder down that way than it did here. Because yeah. look, people's banana trees didn't die. People's papayas didn't die. Our papaya trees barely made it. And our bananas are all burnt out. Like, they're all dead, literally. Yeah. You know, so it's like, okay. 
not cool. I seen this guy in Lehigh mm -hmm. who all his grown coconut trees, they weren't even little. They're like big coconut trees, baby. They're like big. Mm -hmm. like they're like eight foot tall. Mm -hmm. And every last one of them died off of 82. I was like, that's gotta suck. Because you know he had about a thousand dollars. If you bought him, he had about a thousand dollars in him. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't buy the trees big. You have to buy them little. Mm -hmm. That way, like, if something like that happens, you don't have like a million dollars invested into it. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine that. Losing like two thousand dollars worth of trees all at once like that. Mm -hmm. That's gotta be painful, bro. And it's not even the money, it's just like the, the work that you put into it, you know? And then all of a sudden you show up one day and they're all dead. Yeah. That's gotta hurt. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, there it is. Shout out to work.